What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Martin and I am taking a look at this Mercedes AMG GTR by LCE Performance. Forget about that Black Series. You don't need it. Get a GTR. Get some tuning done by LCE because <laughs> this is faster, it's more powerful, it's louder, it's everything. So let's have a look at it. Yeah, it doesn't have the crazy body kit of a Black Series, but I think the GTRs are a really, really cool car. We've had the AMG GTR Pro. If you haven't seen that review, go click in the top right corner, watch it, then come back here um, so you can see what this LC high performance one is like, because it is very, very interesting when compared to the stock car. So I'm going to leave out all the stock specs and stuff like that because yeah, we've done a review already. So let me tell you about the tuning. Now, nothing has been done on the outside. It's just a GTR, which looks freaking awesome. No work needed there, but Underneath here, this massive bonnet, look at how long that is, uh, a lot has happened. So we've got beautiful carbon fiber Wagner tuning intake, man that looks cool. We've got upgraded turbochargers, Wagner intercoolers, uh, bigger upgraded turbos, an ECU remap and a TCU remap, so the gearbox is briefed what to do with all that extra power so we now no longer have 585 horsepower no 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 we have 800 stock torque pretty chalky already 700 newton meters as stock this one though plus 400 newton meters 1100 guys that's insane so that's why the gearbox needed to be briefed yeah, you got 400 newton meters extra coming your way. Deal with it. So, let's see what it's like to drive. I, th this is such a cool detail about the GTRs. This big side blade in carbon fiber. Really, really like that. Of course, as stock, we have carbon ceramic brakes for the GTR, thankfully, because without carbon ceramics, I wouldn't be doing this, I think and that massive diffuser with those two outlets and the exhaust right there. Really, really cool. Oh. We also have a roll cage right there and these special seats you don't get in other AMG GTs. Okay, now I'm going to test it on the Autobahn, the only right place to test this car. I'm not going to bother you with B-roads um, because it's just way too much power, I think. Get Greggy going. So a stock AMG GTR is a 100 to 200 monster. It does 6.4 seconds, which is insanely fast for just 585 horsepower. So let's see by how much we can beat that number. Put it into drive, put it into race mode, why not? At first we're going to heat up the tires. Um, that sound. Oh. <laughs> That's Max. Really paying attention because I forgot to put <laughs> the plate. Oh no. Unbelievable. He told me, I'm watching you because you're going to forget to put off the LCE plates. He was right. Stupid man. But luckily, I have my assistant, Max. Good luck. Wishing me luck. 
flight mode because I think we are going airborne today. Okay, I'm just, this is the first time I'm driving this car. I haven't driven it before this. I did have a drive with the Black Series. What is that, 720, 730 horsepower? Um, and the guys at LC said, well, this is much more of a wild beast than the Black Series. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh-oh, my bullet is... Why? Why say it when I'm here? Stupid, stupid car. You could have said it back there. Now, this is exactly why Max normally makes these reviews, but he's going to now record the Black Series one, so... Don't be friendly. Ugh. Don't like doing that. What a nice evening for an 800 horsepower rear wheel drive monster. So today I've driven a tuned GT2 RS Porsche and Mercedes AMG Black Series and this and this one scares me the most the Porsche has a very very clever rear diff and that heavy engine sits right on top of the rear axle pushing it down creating traction now this car has the engine in the front it's a front mid-engine car it's between the two axles but I don't have any weight pushing down the rear axle so this will spin up its rear tires a lot sooner than the Porsche which might be a good thing because we have to heat them up they are cup 2 tires they need a bit of heat before you can really really start pushing this If you're getting to know a car like this, big power rear-wheel drive, I advise you to start in manual mode so you don't get surprised by big power on a kick down that you weren't expecting. So, a bit of Autotopanel advice there for you guys. So, we are now in race mode, so we have full power and ESP is now in sport mode because we don't want it to interfere with 100 to 200 runs, uh, which it will do because you will have wheel spin at like 80 to 90 kph, where you typically start such a run. Oh my God, that torque, that feels strong. It sounds way different than the Black Series. Yeah, not because it's a tuna car, but the Black Series has a flat plane crank and this is a more traditional AMG engine with a cross plane crank. Jesus! Oh my God, it is <laughs> fast. The torque is immense. There's like a big tsunami under the first inch of the throttle pedal. It's unbelievable. It's really, really cool. Man, what a car. It's totally different from a stock GTR, which has traction and traction and traction and never feels really intimidating. 
Uh, this really does, I have to admit. <laughs> Even for a more experienced driver, this is a handful. Okay, let's see how we are traction wise. that sound I do like it when you tune one of these AMG engines the 4 litre V8 by turbo and you put a different downpipe on it they sound much more like their traditional AMGs like the old 5.5s and 6.2s I think that's such a cool thing Jesus! Let's get some heat in those tires. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Okay, we have a nice bit of a straight here. Let's do the first 100 to 200 run. Little bit of an uphill slow down a bit there we go no traction Jesus Christ that was a 4.77 holy 477 <laughs> that's insane that that is very insane guys wow this thing I'm going to turn around here is absolutely insane the Wagner intercoolers the Wagner intake those components really create that full body sound it's I love this thing I have to admit I like it a bit better than the black series Would you like me to rev it a bit here or give it some think so right ho 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 merry christmas <laughs> Ooh, i'm a big child i can't help it but i am I think the guys over at LC might be a bit conservative when it comes to the power number because 800, nah, I think a bit more. Just a bit. Let's do a second run. Those shifts, that's the upgraded TCU. That's uh, an an invalid 474 so it's really consistent it's not it wasn't a lucky run I do like the fact that he is compensating for my co2 emissions so a thumbs up for that there we go I said I, that I wouldn't do this without carbon ceramics. 
You have to do so much braking when you have so much power. This car makes me do very weird noises. So, that was it guys, just a little demonstration of this insane, insane AMG GTR by LC Performance. Go watch this review or go check out this POV review playlist. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys.